four, three, two, one. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good afternoon to Madam Hajah Noridah binti Haji Ramlan, Principal of Sekolah Seri Puteri, Vice Principals and Teachers of Sekolah Seri Puteri, all principals of the participating schools, teachers and guests and participants. Welcome back to the 4th International Creative Creators Playground at Sekolah Seri Puteri 2024. I am Nabilah binti Abdul Hakim, your host for today. We are glad to announce that this year, we have participants from other countries such as Thailand, Turkey, Philippines, India, and Indonesia. It is lovely to have all of you here with us. We hope with the participation of various countries, we will create a great bond between countries and learn about each other's ideas and creativity at the end of the day. Before we call upon our guest speakers, we would like to inform all participants that all attendees will receive a digital certificate upon their participation in today's workshop. However, to be able to receive the certificate, all our audience members will need to key in their details in the attendance form that will be given in the chat box. This may be of interest to viewers present today. Live Q&A will be conducted during live stream. You can submit your questions in a live chat box and the creator may select it to be answered by our guest speakers today. Stay tuned, everyone. Now is the time for the first speaker to share her expertise and with us here today is our expert guest speaker, Associate Professor Dr. Shamila Mohamed Shahidan. She is an Associate Professor from School of Information Science, College of Computing, Informatics and Mathematics at University Technology Mara UITM, currently teaching the undergraduate and postgraduate digital entrepreneurship, research methodology, management and decision theory. Throughout her career, she has been awarded with prestigious recognitions such as Excellent Service, Anugerah Bitara Penerbitan Artikel, Anugerah Bitara Bilangan Penyelidikan, Anugerah Bitara Penyediaan Pelajar Pasca Siswazah Graduate on Time, and Anugerah Penulis Buku. Without further ado, please welcome Dr. Shamila Mohamed Shahidan. Thank you, Nabila, as a moderator for today. Okay, uh, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And hi, everyone. Okay, my name has been introduced by the moderator, Shamila Muhammad Shridan. And then I've been teaching in the UITM for the past 24 years. Okay, so today I would like to do a knowledge sharing session with you. Okay, uh, for the uh, digital content creations. Okay, before I start, I would like to thanks again to the organizer. Okay, especially to the scholar uh, Sri Putri for inviting me. Okay, to do for this uh, knowledge sharing sessions. Okay, maybe I would like to share my slides now. Okay. It's still loading, is it? My slides. Okay, then. Thank you. Yeah. So for today, okay, I would like to um share with you about how to create a digital content because this is actually for the international okay creative content playground so meaning that you need to create something that's very creative yeah so one of part of it is about the digital content okay for especially for this uh, short film okay so what is actually the digital content okay digital content is a content design 
for a target market, meaning that you need to know that who are your audience, okay? So, uh, first of all, okay, so from there, you will know to identify is either it must be balanced, the aesthetic elements, whether it is come from the images, videos, audio, or written article with all the relevant digital content being created to the target search term, okay, for the site user, especially to the intended to satisfy the user. Okay, I um, mean, in, in Malaysia, I just want to add on the data yeah, for the digital content creator in Malaysia is actually started since 1961, okay, whereby it started with the Hikayat Sankantil, okay. So most of the industry are looking at, okay, from time to time, there is the evolution with the technology whereby people start of doing the animation story, okay? And then furthermore, okay, in Malaysia, per se, that uh, most of our digital content uh, creator already um, went through to others like uh, international, Netflix, okay? Meaning that you need to tackle out about the market, okay? So with the latest trend, uh, trending about the story yeah so in order for you to create this digital content so you need to improve your talent yeah the capability of the talents okay and then you need to make sure that from which industry that you can work with together and then for and then the next step is that you need to protect your intellectual property so you need to know apart a bit about the two other to register your copyright or manuscript okay and then uh whatever the the images okay for the ip commercialization so that you also can be connected okay and then engage for the uh is either for the local national or the international contact okay other than that yeah in order to create a uh, this digital uh, content yeah you need to integrate all of about the data and information literacy so that the content that you created will be contribute uh, to the existing body of knowledge especially to the citizen or to the public okay or to the community okay by having that you will incorporate the copyright and license that must be making understandable instruction to the computer system okay according to the digital com 2.2 framework yeah by the european uh, uh commissions whereby that in order for you to create this digital content other elements such as problem solving okay then why you need to produce this short film it must be try to create awareness to guide to uh, to give instruction uh, to share the information or to distribute the information to the public yes yeah, so that you try to uh, give uh, the solution for the current problem and then in order to give a solution for uh, create awareness to the to the uh, committee or to the user okay you need to supply uh, with the evidence based facts with the data and also the information by having a good communication and collaboration okay engagement and then participation with the community okay and then at the end of it it must be you also need to have the ethics okay why distribute the information you need to have a very safety element yeah there's no such thing as harsh wood okay and then that's why we need to produce a very good quality of the information to deliver it to the targeted audience okay next is okay whenever we do the digital content creation part of it it must be uh, embedded with the competency okay so in order to create and edit the digital content it must have a variety of a different format okay so that you will add on elements because you uh, you have the images you have sounds okay you have pictures and then at the same time you need to express oneself with the good fashion expression emotion and then with the using the digital platform okay the second one is that whenever you need to integrate and re-elaborate the digital content you need to modify 
refine, improve, integrate the information content into the existing body of knowledge, okay? So that you will create a new, original, and relevant content and knowledge. Because people won't see, okay? If people see the other that you copy, okay, plagiarize from others, that is not the genuine from you, okay? The originality of the story is must come from you, okay? So that people will value your work, okay? And then at the same time, okay, try to understand, like I said that before, how to do the copyright and license that will apply to the uh, data information and digital content. And at the end of it, a part of the hardware, software, programming, okay, you need to develop sequence to understand the instruction for the computing system to solve a given problem and perform with a specific task. So if you can see here, there's a variety, various competency that means that you need to know. That's why you cannot work alone, okay? You need to work uh, as a team, okay? So maybe Mr. A, Mr. B, okay? They, they have a different skill that you need to uh, complement each other in order to produce your uh, digital content uh, in the, your short film, okay? And then this digital content eh, normally been produced, okay, if you can see that it has been, you also been seen, watch, okay, and read uh, the digital content that were produced by industry, by other commercial uh, uh, company, public service, or any other organization or government that normally they will produce it, uh, that targeted to the uh, appropriate uh, special user. Okay, so any content that derived from the data and information, it must give it an appropriate format. Okay, it's either that format is for education, direct or for the business purposes, okay, or to guide user to fulfill the purpose that has been set. So meaning that you need to know, right? you must have a very proper planning. Okay, your proper planning, okay, who are actually your targeted audience okay and then what is actually the message that you would like to convey to them okay and then how you're gonna do it okay you need to have a proper plan okay so the format can be written audio video or combination according to the desire of the target audience okay so meaning that you must be creative okay in order and have at the same time it must be you also have a critical thinking Okay, this is actually the balance in order to produce a very, the best short film, yeah? Okay, other than that, okay, you must know that whatever that you would like to deliver, it must have the economic and commercial value, okay? So that people will see that, okay, there's something that will benefit to them, okay? So they will listen from the beginning till the end. Okay. And then the production of the digital content must be meet the taste and the needs of the user. You can know that what is the current trend nowadays. Okay. So do you think that is appropriate for this user? Okay. So if not, don't just follow your own, um, I mean, your own desire. Okay. You need to know that. So that's why we need to have the function, the design, the format, the safety aspect. And then it must have come with the ethical and moral value, okay? Need to be considered, okay, in the production of this digital content, okay? So sometimes this year, why not? It is a trend nowadays, but you have to know that. Even though it is a trend, but if it is non-ethical and there is no moral value, I think we better stop it, okay? Because there is no value being added, okay? To especially to add on, to the body of the knowledge of the society and then community okay okay so this is a part of the process of the digital content creation okay so first of all i think all of you have been brave about uh, for the uh, this year uh teams okay it's, it's about the sdg uh, 16 okay uh, the whereby it's about peace, justice, and the strong institutions, okay? So you start understand, okay? Try to understand, okay? And then the second one is formulate and form the idea 
finally the idea and approve the idea so at stage one yeah, start the task yeah try to understand the task that been given to you so that you've been able to plan to execute the information search process okay you sit together brainstorm together okay with your team okay try to understand so because i think that let's say that in your team you have like five or four person in a group so i know that it's not easy everyone have their own idea the creative idea critical thinking idea but try to brainstorm okay try to list up okay whenever you brainstorm my dear try not to criticize each other okay that is not a good way uh, being as a team work okay so try to see try to listen okay for each of you have the right to say about it okay try to brainstorm each of you can say okay whatever that you think that is the best for your group to plan it okay so try to understand based on the task being given so after that try to formulate the forecast okay identify the topic and then what are the main problem statement okay so in here you need to have like a few skill like i mentioned information search skill um and research skill okay so a bit of that kind of elements need to be added on okay so try to each divide yourself okay about the task being given okay so each of you have your own task to be start of doing about that yeah and then it must be clear to have a clear objective of the task okay so try to understand what is sdg 16 is all about it's about peace justice and strong institution so if you can see that under that uh, 16 they have a few targets so is the idea you consider the first target about the violence okay about the violence or about try to not taking a bribe so please try to study about this uh, sdg 16 okay next after that you need to formulate the focus okay after that you need from the general you need to narrow down it okay narrow down it try to be more focused okay about even though it is sdg 16 but what is actually that's the sub team that you would like to um discover or you would like to uh, uh discuss about it yeah to plan and list down all the necessary information in detail according to the related topics okay next is you have to form in the ideas okay after you already narrow down the idea make an assumption okay start begin with the information search with the targeted field okay try to verify the idea with the third party okay now who are the third party the third party is the person that you can ask is from the expert or maybe from your teachers okay so this person will try to help you to validate and then to rely to uh, to check the reality of the information or your ideas that you plan okay so this third party normally is the person who are expert in the area okay try to verify the idea and from there you have a few alternative is either to accept or to reject the idea okay based on the fixed evidence and also the uh, logic of the idea okay next is this is the finalizing the idea okay so you need to have uh, the final um, what is actually the final idea from the whole team members okay and then you must be have a mutual agreement between uh, the team members so that you can proceed for the next uh, step okay so the idea has already been finalized okay no more changes okay no more after you do the production you change it i think it's not uh, right so no okay so this is actually the finalizing the ideas so that at this the final one everybody will approve the idea okay so you will take that the right sources and that interpreted all the information from the quality uh, data and information 
So that is the process of the digital content creation. We have five stages, yeah? From the uh, ideas uh, generation till the approving the ideas. I think uh, this is the very best thing, okay? All of you, I think, is very clear about it. But as I mentioned that, I need you to discuss, brainstorm in a team, okay? And finalize it with verify with the expert maybe your teachers also can be called as the expert in their area okay and then other things that you need to be considered in order to produce the digital content is the cost yeah please i know that being as a student okay uh please try to minimize the cost okay unless the school is providing the funding for you all okay other than that the hardware all the devices that you will need to record the camera for example okay so now smartphone also can easily be used but i'm not so sure is either you allow in your school to bring the smartphone maybe you need to seek the permission about that yeah and then software apps nowadays yeah so what kind of apps maybe it's easier yeah nowadays yeah easier for you i think you are much more expert of doing that yeah and yeah and then skill okay that what kind of skill after this we discuss yeah and then make sure that you should find the very accurate updated data and information yeah so a bit about the knowledge you must be very good knowledgeable that's why i said that the first thing you need to understand that what is SDG 16. Okay, maybe you heard about it before, but now try to investigate. Do a, like a mini research about what is actually SDG 16. Okay, because in order for you to create this content, yeah, you need to very well about that area so that you don't misinterpret about the things that you would like to uh, uh, create uh, 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 creatively. And then because you need to disseminate it to the public, to the user. So we don't want the user uh, misunderstood whatever that you try to deliver the message to them. Okay? Okay, so other than that, yeah, like I said that the learning skill, okay, the critical thinking, creativity, collaboration, and communication, yeah? Because the communication is one of the important elements in this, uh, in order to produce the short film, yeah? Okay, so a part of the skill that I said that, yeah, is about the information literacy skill, okay? You need to have the research skill. Why? Because this research skill, you will dig, okay, in order to find the data and information, okay? Then you need to analyze it critically. You need to evaluate the information. You need to, to, to evaluate the data. Let's say that you will get the statistic okay from the data for i just uh, take it from the data of the statistic malaysia dosem that say that how many percentage that uh, children have been abused or violence or family violence yeah so you need to know that in order to make uh, it much more uh, facts findings evidence in your content yeah so people will listen would like to listen to you more wow unexpectedly surprisingly in malaysia there is about the uh, about 30 percent okay uh, uh, violence that happen in the family violence for example so people will uh, like uh, you may uh, attract people to listen to your uh, story okay and then it must come with the digital skill okay because you need to use hardware software apps okay so a bit about that you must be good and then like we said that visual effect lightning okay so that's a part of uh, your skill that in order to produce the short film and then the communication skill the emotion the facial expression and your acting okay the communication skill so that you will uh, try to um, engage with your uh, users so they will say that oh this is the part of very uh, strongly being influenced the emotion okay so you need to engage with them with your communication skill okay okay now um then a part of that, yeah, in order for you to collect together all the data and information, 
okay, for the SDG 16, uh, all the way of uh, how people doing the script writing, you need to know about a few sources of information, okay? So the sources of information, it can come from printed and non-printed, okay? You know that printed materials such as books, magazine, article, newspaper, uh, poster, Okay, so that is a part in order for you to gather the quality of data and information and then you need to cite it, yeah, because it is not from you primary data, it's actually from the secondary data, you need to cite it, other people's work, okay, and then it also can come from the non-printed uh, 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 sources of information, such as from internet, social media, and also the databases, yeah, such as journal, uh, the article also it can also can come from the ebooks yeah or you also can have it like uh, the uh, from the person itself yeah you can interview them you can do the observation or you can do the oral history or from the storytelling narratively you get from primary data is in person okay so you interview that person you can get that you can collect it from the primary uh, sources also and also from other uh, sources from media such as cd film vcd okay from radio from television okay so it also can be considered from the sources of the information yeah so the best thing is that i think at your school you have also that so-called as a school resource center or the pss or library okay from there there's a, a lot of collections okay services and in the school resource center you must have the uh, media teacher or okay or the uh, teacher librarian okay so you can ask them okay in order for you to help you to support you with the data and information okay so other than that yeah your information search strategy also can be taken up from the traditional or versus from the electronic yeah so example of the digital information sources we have like online dictionary online treasures okay online encyclopedia online map okay uh, atlas and then the uh, directories yeah so all of this is actually is easy for you you can just start of google it okay and then search it from the internet yeah okay other than that okay i think nowadays so yeah this um, we don't see the newspaper i mean the printed one okay it still have but most of the first are using reading is for the newspaper online so from there you can relate it what is the current issue okay that related with the sdg 16 maybe from there it can give you the idea the brief idea about what kind of uh, the story that you would like to um uh, to produce okay so in a news uh newspaper online also part of it okay and this is i think the latest one i think most of you aware about ai am i right AI, artificial intelligence, yeah, whereby AI is actually make yourself um, easier, okay? Uh, if you type something, okay, the AI will help you, okay? AI will advise you, but however, as I said that, you need to, don't just copy and paste, okay? You need to reword, restructure, and verify it with uh, expert or with your teachers, yeah? Uh, AI is actually will help you. For example, they will check your Grammarly, okay, your language, okay? And then also we have like chat GPT, okay? This is the most common nowadays that been used, am I right? And then we also have the Citavi. Citavi is a software for the reference management. And then we also have the quick box, okay? AI will assist you that can uh, help you to rephrase, summarize, and improve your flow of your writing. And also the uh, turning in. Turning in is actually uh, the uh, plagiarism, check the similarity of your writing, yeah? So AI also one of it that can help you, uh, to support you in order to produce your uh, storytelling uh, writing, yeah? Okay, and uh, just a little bit about uh, to narrow down, yeah, 
on how to do the information search strategy. Okay, so in order to do the information search strategy, I think most of you, the current setting, yeah, normally students will use Google, Mr. Google or Mr. Yahoo, okay? So start off uh, searching that, okay? Using, okay, or if you uh, use in your library, you can start off using OPEC, yeah, or any other database that being uh, internet-based, yeah? So start off during the search engine, so such as Google, google yahoo bings okay start of typing okay type your keyword okay so now your keyword is sdg sdg what sdg 16 so type sdg 16 so it will appear all of the information so data that related with the sdg 16 and in order to narrow down your searching you can type the phrase okay so now you know the sdg 16 is about peace justice and strong institution so maybe you can write directly uh, type the the phrase okay so it will appear okay in order to do the information search strategy you need to merge the keyword by using the boolean operators so you know what is the boolean operators this is a part of the information search strategy whereby you can use okay type sdg 16 and piece and and is to limit your searching okay or is actually to wider the scope of your searching not meaning that you try to narrow down meaning that you don't want about others so you can use this brilliant operator and or or not okay so please use this okay it will help you to narrow down your searching as information search strategy okay okay other than that yeah like i said that you can narrow down you start off like i said that brainstorming so you will know that sdg 16 targets okay so we have like 10 okay so 16a is about violence okay 16.2 so about the abuse okay and then you start of looking at it which one is the most you think that that you can uh, create a good story and then it must be creative as i said yeah so a part of it this is all the sub team under the sdg 16 so you can combine it i think you have been briefing station before so you can combine it or otherwise you can focus about what is specifically about your story writing okay script writing okay and then yeah this is the most important things yeah whenever you do the writing part okay so let us be clear what is actually the story that you would like to write what this is so important okay so that's why i said that discuss in your teamwork and then make sure that you are very have a very good uh, team okay members partners okay and then so that you can appoint that who 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 actually your target the audience or well, it also can be who can be uh the actor okay who are can be the producer so you who who is actually the role of the person to to acting or so or to the who is actually the target audience try to identify list it out and then where are you gonna do where is it indoor outdoor so if outdoor is it at night or daytime so all the things will be involved with the lightning okay so it also can be considered maybe after this um uh, Mr. Azri will uh, uh, discuss uh, in detail yeah, about how you're going to do the, 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 the shooting process, okay? So that the angle, for example, and then why? Why you want to do this? Why you want to produce the kind of the storytelling? It's not that the reason. What kind of the message that you would like the audience to know about it? Okay, the message, okay? you do the, the, And then how are you going to do it? What kind of platform okay channel that you will use in order to convey uh, your message or to create the awareness okay so all of this has been involved with the three stages okay pre-production production 
and post production. Okay, so I took this from the by Peter and David. Yeah, so they are they are having a books there producing and directing the short film and video. Okay, in order to produce it, so this is a part. Eh? A brief one session. Okay, pre production meaning that before you take off the 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 production. Yeah, so meaning that the planning. Okay, the script must be present. Okay, uh, so that practically informed so to guide you through the production okay so you should know that what is the story who are the characters where are the location and that why you need to produce this kind of story and how about uh, the uh the, the platform that you use it in order to make sure the targeted audience be engaged and participate okay so that is about the pre-production okay so after that whenever on the set yeah on the production is actually on the set this is the common practice that associate with the art of direction working with the actor okay prepare the camera and set the protocol and this part is all of the team members must play their role okay so make sure that everybody know what are their roles okay so you can give the most uh, creative effective role okay because you're going to produce the best short film okay for your group members okay and then especially you are the one who is actually represent your school okay you must want to, to make your school be proud of you okay uh, so that internationally people will know that your school has been awarded the best short film okay and then later on the last one is the post-production post-production is the part of after you already are uh, doing the shooting so this is about the edit the use of the sound uh, then the visual effect okay so the producer will play the important role so that this post-production is going to uh, produce um, uh, the best, like I said, that a short film. Okay? So, other than that, I also give you the link, okay? Uh, the tips, yeah, actually, from uh, the YouTube. I took it, okay? Uh, the best tips uh, for in order to produce the script writing, okay? So, that like uh, whatever I heard it before, they said that in order to produce, don't be too technical, don't be too rigid because in order to produce something that creative, the critical thinking and the creative part is the most important thing, okay? The best thing is either than that, you need to incorporate each other, all the elements and the competency and skill that have been mentioned before, it must be integrated, okay? So it cannot like, wow, you are, oh, we are now living in the digital age, so everything must be in digital. Try to be balanced. Uh, so because you need to also people to know about sometimes your pronunciation so it's good to have the subtitle so that you will produce the information quality people will know what is actually because we also living in this real situation you should know that sometimes we also need to include it, the vulnerable group you know what is a vulnerable group okay because no one should left behind in order to watch your uh, short film so inclusive group okay like a special needs okay so they also would like to listen and watch your short film so you must think about it okay so everybody can watch it without exclude or meaning like i said that no one left behind okay so everybody can understand what is the message and, uh, the, that you will deliver from your short film okay so other than that yeah there's another important element that you need to consider the ethics of use of the information okay try to be like i said that the moral the value okay because whenever you record sometimes you forgot about something someone passing by behind you okay so make sure that if you can get contact from that person so you can display their faces if not you need to like uh, um, make sure it's blur for example okay so ethics of information use is so important otherwise you have to uh, seek 
information okay or otherwise sometimes without we realize it we use other people's name okay maybe it's coincidence however if people think about oh i think that he or she try to say something bad about me so please try to avoid that kind of things there yeah? because that is uh, the rules about right and wrong about the person behavior and especially you need to protect the privacy right about that uh, those individual or your organization or your school okay let's say that you would like to do the short film in your school okay try to ask the permission can we use this uh i mean room okay because maybe in that room have the confidential information for example uh all of a sudden indirectly you already i uh, mean open up that uh, uh or try to display that confidential uh, 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 information yeah so try uh, be careful about that okay and then okay as i mentioned to you uh, before it's a good to have to think about it yeah being a student yeah well we don't want you just uh, to waste your talent okay so after you create this very creative um, short film maybe you think about it and how to promote it and how to to get the commercial value about your short film so the good thing is that you also can register it to the intellectual property in malaysia we have my yeah? so malaysian okay intellectual property organization whereby uh, it can register all of your um creative uh, writing or work okay we have pattern okay a pattern is actually exclusive right granted for the invention that you made which is a new product or process for a solving problem okay and we also have a copyright so this is the common yeah protection uh, to the author copyright owner about the copyright works of their performance that being under the registered of the copyright act 1987 and also you also can have a trademark what is the trademark? The trademark is any graphic sign that can distinguish uh, your company product or services from other competitors. Okay. And the last one is the industrial design. This is that design has been decorated an aesthetic aspect. Okay. Uh, so this design gonna have the three dimensional features such as shape and then article pattern and decoration so design feature must be used from the industrial article of interest so this also can be considered for your future planning okay maybe your school and you yourself can register that so after you finish up doing this uh, uh short film maybe this is your creative artworks that can be registered okay or you can also can um, join any other the uh, competition such as iid competition okay the invention and innovation uh, design competition okay this is a part of it yeah you try to promote uh, whatever the creative uh, works that been uh, produced by you and your friends and also especially you will represent your school okay and then uh, i think a part of it yeah try to avoid plagiarism so that it is necessary for you to list out or to state about the sources that you referred to such as in a text or in a uh, or bibliography so at the end of it the references list you have to uh, give uh, who is actually that you can get the ideas okay is either let's say that if you take it from books articles or magazine you need to do the citation so at the end of it yeah so you just list it out so people will know that this is the uh the facts uh, the evidence that you got it is not being take it like sources from the wikipedia because that one is not the formal uh, reference yeah okay and then at the end is also you need to acknowledge and give credit whoever involved in your short film making okay so list it out okay and then the cast list it out so people clearly can know that who is actually contribute to this short film in, in the making of this short film yeah so it is important yeah give a credit acknowledge is so important things okay okay 
Next is uh, being okay. This is just a summarizer in order to help the content creators. Okay, so a part of it, like I said, that the title. Okay, whenever it's appear, it must have the clear title and a subtitle, caption, sources of the data information. Say it clearly. Okay, or put it in writing. Okay, and then the emotion, the special expression. The body language and the language that you use, it must be clearly understand by a lay person, okay? And then use a various format, accurate data, so that, and then the environment that you choose, okay, indoor, outdoor, it must be, have a very good, okay, uh, uh, lightning, okay, so people can see that what you are doing, okay? And then uh, a good teamwork, like I mentioned, okay? It's not only one person to show off. It must be everyone must contribute, okay, to make it happen creatively, okay? So that is the part, okay, as a content creator, a good content creator, yeah? Okay? So uh, to question, yeah, I think that in order to have this kind of uh, a good short film, so, okay, the data and quality of information it must come from uh, whatever you produce. It must have the authority from the credential uh, person, from the expert, and that it must be updated, okay, uh, the current uh, information. And then the scope, the scope must be clear so that the targeted audience will know that what you are trying to deliver to them, okay? And then the objective must be smart. What is smart? It must be specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and timeline. Okay, make sure that your short film, I think in the rubric or the criteria, yeah, if I'm not mistaken, it's not be exceed than five minutes. Try to make it like within the five minutes, okay? And then it must be accurate. Don't say some things that not relevant or not accurate or you cannot create something that is beyond your something that... Um, it's not realistic now, okay? So, like I said that, use the five rules. They're smart, measurable, achievable, realistic, and timeline, okay? It must be. So, if you do that, I think you'll be in a good terms, okay? So, I think that's all from me, okay? Then, I, the, all the best. I think all of you already uh, have... The target uh, time already, the due date is already being given to you. Try to plan it well and then do it well. Okay? Use it whatever the, the best thing that you can do. Okay? All the best. Thank you and take care. Assalamualaikum. Over to you, Nabila. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Shamila, for your insightful sharing. Now we'll move on to the Q&A session. Feel free to ask questions to Dr. Shamila. Thank you, Nabila. For the first question from Anas Mustakim, for drama three people so few, sir, can we get more people as supporting actors slash actresses? Yes, dear. Um, you can get it. But however, as I said that to you, you must get the uh, content from them, but not too many for the supporting actors and actresses because you only have a limited time, okay? Uh, so extra uh, is good, okay? But sometimes more is going to be better. Thank you, Anas. All the best to you. Okay, thank you, Anas. Another question. I just read it through, yeah, Nabila? Okay, is that acting or can do the... It can be both. Okay, it can be both. Because after this, Mr. Azri will explain to you, in order to make a short film, most of people are doing documentary. But however, uh, the a, a good element, like I said, a variety format, it can make you more creative. But try to... Uh, don't push your limit. Try to see your... Uh, credibility on order to produce a good short film. Thank you, Anas. May I know Anas? Anas from where? Which school? Okay. Okay. 
Is it okay if the video is edited with some animation? Okay, the elements, I think that the rubric has been given to you. So as I said, that is so it's good to have that. But however, as long as the message has been can be conveyed to the targeted audience, it should be okay. Okay, Shiv? Yes, at the end of it, you must... I like that. And it must be the one that being given a permission, like a picture. Right? If you take it, sometimes it's not having, yeah, there has a trademark or whatever. So you must get the permission, the credit sources. Yeah. Okay. Yes, Anas. It must be a credit sources. Is there any violence can be added? What do you mean by ayam goreng? Is there any violence can be added? Nabila, maybe if you can uh, explain it more. What do you mean by is there any violence can be added? I ayam think goreng. perhaps they are talking about adding action scenes. Oh, yeah. But please make sure that is the safe side. That's why I said that. Don't try it because I know that you try to show the SDG 16 is about under 16.8 is about violence. Yes try uh, because in order to make a short film you try to make sure people to understand what kind of violence is true but please don't harm your friends eh? okay can i use like a news clip or article screenshot in short film in credit yes yeah you can use it yes has yeah you can use it as long as whatever you must give a credit to the sources that have been given I'm sorry to interrupt, but I believe we're uh, we're running out of time. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, thank you. I will be ending the Q and A session for now. Now is the time for the workshop on short films, and with us here today is our expert guest speaker, Inche Azri Abu Hassan. He is a senior lecturer and film coordinator, College of Creative Arts, Digital and Imaging Arts Film, University Technology Mara UITM, and teaches the subject of sound technology, short video production, and basic entrepreneurship. Inche Azri has 14 years experience in the film industry, such as film sound, film directing, and as a content creator himself. He is also experienced in conducting various workshops, and once was directly involved in a workshop under Penjana HRDF from 2020 until 2021. Currently, he, he is in the process of completing his manuscript for some recording for film, film script idea, and few other social media content like YouTube. Definitely, we can't wait to gain knowledge from him from this workshop. Without further ado, please welcome Inche Azri Abu Hassan. Hi, everyone. My name is Mr. Azri Ben Abu Hassan. I'm a senior lecturer from uh, College of Creative Art in UITM, Shah Alam. So I would like to give some lecture, a very, very short and very uh, uh, not formal about the regarding about the short film, right? Let's share the slide first. All right, everyone can see my slide? Moderator can see my slide? All right, okay. They have a four, four, four element topics. First is about an introduction to uh, short films. And number two, uh, the basic uh, things about the shots and also preparation uh, before you guys go uh, going to shoots or filming right uh, number three is, is about basic of shots camera angles camera movement basic of lighting and also audio equipment and the last is about the basic editing video for uh, with smartphone or using any laptops and so on all right okay what is short film right okay short film is about uh if any picture that uh, short enough in running time not to be considered as a feature film whether a short film is a funded 
by government grant or out of pocket by inspiring filmmaker or by network studio themselves the overreaching goal in the same to create concentrate piece of um storytelling at the significant uh, lower cost than than a full length of feature film a good short film is to express one concept or your your idea okay in complete way without uh, unnecessary diversions and then gets to its a point the ending is the important in the short film or the short filmmaker needs to make sure that their ending is satisfying coherent all right uh, continuity of in terms of storytelling uh, editing the lighting sound and so on and works with the rest of the film right okay next this is a basic of shots okay before i uh, explain about the basic of shots uh, i like to uh, to remind you guys if you guys shoot short film or documentary or short story do not use the vertical all right this is not the right the right but uh, the right position for the camera is like with this one okay like this landscape mode okay make sure you guys should all the short film documentary must put your your camera or smartphone or ipad must be po position your your camera must on the landscape board right okay next okay have you guys see about this uh the line in in your camera or smartphone i believe you guys uh we familiar this uh, line of grid this is this is what we call as a rule of third the reason why why we must uh, switch on the rule of third or line of grip because uh, we need to get the best composition of the shot try after this you guys try to uh switch switch on moon camera and then go to setting camera all right go to setting and then uh, enable mode uh line of grip all right so from there you can compose your your shots and also the subject subject is referred to your talent your artist who who to be the actor and actress all right even though not not only for the subject but the objects like like this you can compose to get the best composition of the shots all right next this is an example all right this is how we we can capture the moment the shot with the using the line of grid or we can call it as a root of thirds all right okay next is this is a eye level okay during you guys filming uh with the talking people make sure that the composition and also the camera angle must be eye level during the actor or actress is is in conversation all right okay next this is looking space you guys can use a variety of the camera angle to look like uh, cinematic style and also the mood uh, look and feel like the cinematic okay next this is also looking space which is uh, from this picture we can compose between the subject and the background all right the background is a one of the group members they are talking talking at the behind of this subject all right okay next the size of shot all right now we go to zoom in what is the sizing of the shot i believe you guys are familiar taking a shot yeah? taking a picture taking a video but there are some of the taking the picture of the all the video they have the the terms every every single of the shot okay let's say for example eh, this is a white shot white shot is can consider as a how we capture uh the environment right the panorama of the uh, beside the sea and so on all right the next is long shot all right the shorten a uh, long shot ls right long shot all right the reason why white shot, white shot and also long shot is to be taken is to be to to establish the shot for example if you want to show the audience for the first scene or second scene or the third scene it must be we as a filmmaker 
was to give the indication to the audience where the exact the location for the first scene or the first shot. For example, first shot is a white shot beside the sea. So audience can uh, audience can uh, identify, oh, this is a location at the beside the sea. So the 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 scene number one is is happened at the beside the sea. All right. Okay, next. Now we go to zooming from the long shot, white shot. Now we go to uh, zoom in, right? This is called medium long shot. The shorten is MLS, all right? Medium long shot uh, can be taken uh, for the for for the subject doing some some activity, some action, or the, he or she talking to the other people, all right? Next, more to zoom in, all right? This is called medium shot MS. Same, same, same. The uh, the previous one, but the shot is more to tighten. This, this, this shot uh, we can consider the uh, the actor or actress is a talking, and also uh, doing some movement, some like the talking or uh, eating or the talking to the other people, or he or she is uh, watching a movie or TV. All right. Okay. Next, more to tighten. From the mid shot, all right, okay. From the mid shot, medium shot to medium close up, which is the sizing of the shot from the breast until the head, all right. So this is can uh, considered as a portrait mode or something like to show the expression and so on, okay. Now we go to tighter, okay. This is called close up, all right. Close up is more suitable to show the, the expression of the actor or actress in terms of is it she's a cry she's happy or something like she in the emotion right emotion and then something like he want to express the feeling all right the shot is close up it's must suitable for guy you guys to to portray it okay next this is called extreme close-up. This is more tighter, tighter. Okay, extreme close-up is suitable for to show that the eyes or something like objects, all right? Object to show that the logo, all right? To establish well, this cup with the logo, for example, or like the phones. Eh? We want to close up to to give the people to give to audience what time is it? You can use a short close-up, right? Okay, next. This is a profile shot, which is the profile just on the right or the left. Okay, profile shots. Okay, After, that's all for the shot. Now we go move to uh, angle. Okay, angle of the shot. Just like uh, previous uh, slide, I show that the eye level, low angle and high angle. So this is a high angle. High angle to switch to, to to portray some people uh, so walking. Or to show that it's a very small people all right next is it's a low angle okay low angle most uh probably filmmaker can show that uh we can show this character is so powerful something like you want to portray uh, the building okay for example KLCC, klcc building you can uh, put the camera from the low angle to show that the, the beautiful of the building uh klcc that's a, for example right okay next this is a chanted frame which is uh we uh we also uh look familiar and always uh watch uh, action movie that is called chanted frame okay next and also this one is what we call over shoulder shot over shoulder shot is suitable for uh actor or actress is uh, during the talk talking uh, during the dialogue all right talking and then first uh, over shoulder from the uh, from the this girl and then we can reverse from the uh from the the main uh shots all right okay next this is the film language which is which uh film language is more to give the indication to the audience no, normally nowadays uh our audience uh not uh knowing every shots and also the angle but the terms that 
we need to give some meaning meaning and meaning from the behind of the shot and also the angle what we we we, we want to show to portray to the audience for example the camera angle all right the camera movement you guys familiar what is a camera movement camera movement something like we capture from uh, this angle camera move from the from the right to left all right uh, or left to right or dolly in and dolly out that's a, that's a, what we call camera movement or or an, another example we take this camera tilt up to show the big building the highest building or tilt down that's what we call camera movement also all right the camera angle first all right just now i say that they have a low angle eye level high angle warm eye chanted frame and also bird eye view if you guys familiar with the drone shot uh, that's what we call the bird eye view right you can see from the top uh, the building and the KL city or the kampongs and so on that's what we call bird eye view by using the camera drones right okay this is eye level all right suitable just now i say that uh suitable for talking all right eye level next high angle this one high angle so you just put camera from the top right from the top to show that the object or subject okay now next is low angle camera from the low angle from this one for low angle all right make sure that if you want to portray or using the low angle make sure at the background is something like give more perspective of the line this is this will give more added value in terms of the shots and also can create more cinematic style and cinematic value all right make sure please use the please find the location uh, which is very suitable to your story and idea and concept i believe you guys can use any location which, which is you can use the surrounding at your school or other locations make sure please find the the best and also the beautiful which is related into your story all right okay next camera movement let just now i say that we can use the camera uh, camera pen left or pen right okay uh track track uh, right to left left to right and track in and track out i give the some example okay this one the pen which is camera from to follow the subject for for example the car red car is moving from left to right so the best the best we as a camera operator and the filmmaker must portray to capture that the red car is moving from left to right so cam camera can panning from left to right just follow the subject car is moving all right okay that's what we call pen pen left or pen to right okay okay this one till till up and till down okay for example there are some one man is going to falling down from the building so camera can till down follow the subject and then falling down at the road all right can follow till down or till up right that's a simple you you guys can practice after this no worries you guys have a have a what you call ample time to practice with your smartphone or ipad or you can uh, watch the youtube after this what is the camera movement and the basic of shots and so on no worries uh, i believe our teachers uh, will give uh, my notes to every single student no worries okay Okay, this is a dolly in and dolly out. How is it look like dolly in and dolly out? Dolly dolly in something like camera movement, all right? Let's say this is a subject, dolly in. This one is dolly in, camera move, and dolly out, camera track out. Okay, all right. For example, I give some video. Okay, this is a dolly in. Slowly camera, uh, dolly in into the subject, all right? we can see the emotion of the faces from the faces this character all right this is dolly in 
you guys can try to practice how to make the dolly in by using the uh, extra equipment camera uh, by using by DJI Z and all also on anything as long as if you you guys don't have the extra equipment you can use your single hand all right your both your hand and slowly dolly in to the subject all right make sure that your hands not shaking that's very important okay just now it's a dolly in now next is dolly out okay can you sorry Cannot play. Why cannot play? Ah, oh, cannot play. Okay, never mind. Okay, next. Uh, short as a word, right? Did did you did you uh, realize that every single of short you take you took, they have something really interrelated with five W one H. What is 5W? What, who, where, was, and so on. All right? And 1H is how. For example, okay. Who, what, where, when, and why. So this is 5W. All right? 1H is how. From this element, we, uh, audience can interpret from every single of the picture, every single of the shot. Okay? I believe... So after this, you guys, you guys must produce short film or documentary. Every single of the short you took, it must have the five W one H must have, All right? For example, which one is the boss? On top or below? Which one? All right. So from this from this picture, we can see the bosses is uh, the ladies, uh, right but but i'm i again i i ask a question which character is more powerful is it the staff or the boss hmm, which one we we from the picture we can analyze can interpret which character is more powerful is it boss or the staff the guy all right from my from my opinion from my analyze from 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 the this picture for uh, both picture uh, i can see the guy is more powerful because the way the way the camera took angle is more low angle all right the low angle can portray that character is more powerful rather than the bosses bosses is more to eye level all right okay next this is a medium shot from this medium shot, you guys can take the activity of the actor or actress is doing something, all right? Okay, next, the long shot. Uh, just now I say that long shot is more to establish where is the location exactly. And also it's a give the indication to the audience where the location uh, happened. For example, uh, from the top, it's about the one guy, one man, is uh, it enter into the shop the the, the below is uh, the ladies with the flowers all right okay this one is what you call extreme long shot or white shot this one to show that the camera is uh, crossing in front of the uh, sunlight all right sunrise okay next uh, same thing this one is close up it's not about the facial expression but Close up can give to the indication to the audience what time is is now. For example, from this uh, uh, watch, you can see time is around eight, eight something. Okay. Next, extreme close up. Extreme close up, we can show to the audience that the expression from the from the eyes of the character. If we want to show that something, uh, if you guys choose a genre suspend thriller or action this is very suitable to show the close up the the eye of the the character to give the more more suspend element and also to give element suspend to the audience also all right next media close up mcu 
same thing it's not about the way the character talking but we can show that uh the the the, the activity of the uh actions from the characters doing some doing doing something right okay next now we now we move to equipment all right the camera what kind of camera you guys can use all right okay normally in the film industry or video they have a two types of the camera a uh, three types of camera for example one is a camera video professional all right number two is a semi-professional and the third is an amateur all right so this is i give some some uh example no nowadays eh, in this film industry uh no no matter in the malaysia or hollywood or south south east asia um they have to, they have like a lot of model of camera for the professional for using for, for filming for film drama or tv and so on for example this is sony fs7 this is a uh, camera professional the next is a black magic 6k pro 6k means that this camera can capture uh 6k resolution it's a big resolution all right the sensor is a very big can capture more more likes and can can see the uh, can see the a lot of full hd with the 6k resolution all right okay next this is a also camera professional this model what we call the red red dragon and the the, the next of the dra dragon is what we call the alexa 4k world alexa st it's a most uh, film hollywood in film uh, using this camera ari for example transformers the matrix um, there's a lot of movie in in hollywood using this camera ari alexa st all right Okay, this one is a camera video semi-professional which is they can use the full frame and also the mirrorless for example it's a sony a7 III. now we, uh, they have a sony a7 IV and the latest camera uh, mirrorless sony a66 uh, a6 uh, 100 all right uh, the next if you guys uh, have a have uh, extra money or you and you guys have own a drone you can capture using the drone from the bird eye view to show that the where the location from the from the top i think if you guys uh, have a time and have a have a good uh, visual please use the uh, utilize that the drone drone shot okay the next is a gopro gopro or or small action camera this is more to uh more to move action movement if you guys use uh choose the genre action movie eh, genre action or horror or something like suspense thriller you guys can use the gopro to to take the action movement all right okay the last is about smartphone as a camera video if you guys don't have the semi camera semi professional camera or, or the amateur camera also on you guys can use the smartphone the best is smartphone uh likes uh iphone 14 pro max above uh and then you can use the samsung and then even though you can use the uh others others model which is can support full hd and 4k resolution all right okay next the camera equipment okay this is called the tripod uh, i reckon i i suggest that every every participant uh, please use the tripod during the filming uh, talking all right uh, seen dialogue seen with the uh, with the dialogue because if you guys do not use the tripod uh, the, every single of shot you you filming it must be the visual like you're shaking i don't want you guys uh, do a lot of using your handheld use your hand as a as a tool framing please find the tripod the proper tripod or you can use a you can buy at the uh, tiktok shop or 
uh, Shopee, uh, the tripod costs about 10 to 20 ringgit. Just, just try to invest, buy a tripod. Okay. The reason to, to, to avoid every shot you filming, can, uh, the, the, the visual is we reduce, do not, we don't want the checking visual. All right. Next, the camera gimbal stabilizer. This is more suitable for you guys. You want to, what do you call, uh, to filming camera movement from left to right, from till up, till down, from the from the lower to high angle shots. This is very suitable for the camera movement. All right, using this this type of Ronin, DJI, and so on. All right, this is slider. I believe the slider is more to to create more cinematic and uh, cinematic visual style. Uh, for example, dolly uh, track from the right to left, all right? Right to left, left to right, dolly in and dolly out. So the best way you can use the slider is more stable, all right? If you guys don't have a, a, a slider, you can use the your hand. Make sure that your hand's not shaking. Before you start filming, make sure do not to shake it. Okay, please avoid that. Okay, next. Now we're talking about lighting. Okay. Uh, I suggest that every participant, uh, every group must have the filming with the lighting. All right. You can use the proper lighting or with the natural light, like for example, uh, sun, sunlight and so on. Okay. Lighting for short film. They have a basic three uh basic setup for short film. What is a three point lighting? All right. The three three point lighting is including about the key light. What is the key light? Key light is the main source of the light. Okay, for the given the character while a certain place in the scene. Very simple. Key light is a the single source of light. Key light. Okay, for example, from this slide, you can see the girls have uh light uh light light with the uh, lighten with light from the from the left uh, or the right right faces okay so they have a contrast between high, high contrast and shadow but how we want to kill the shadow from the left uh, faces this girl by using the fill light let's say key light from the from the right right faces and then we can put the fill light to balance between what is fill light? Fill light is a soft light source to use to soften the shadow created by the key light to desired amount. So you can put here, for example, key light from the this this area and fill light from this area. This is your camera, so that the light is a balance. But one one we must put uh, one more light from the back light. You guys can see from this girl, the background is a totally black. And then the background is match between the girl's hair, all right? So how to to to, to avoid uh, between the subject and the background to uh, to match is the, the the way you the uh, the, the, the last step is we put the backlight, okay? The backlight is a give separation between the subject and background. Sometimes we call separate light from this mapping light the key light fill light and back light from the back background back uh, subject you can see the 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 back back light can uh, light up the hairline and also the hoodies so that we can see the separate between the subject and also the background okay this is a, a mapping three point lighting remember key light Fill light and also back light from the from the background back subject. Okay, this is an example of three point lighting setup. Here the lighting setup. This one is a key light, the fill light, and back light. Right. Okay. Next, the microphone. This is very important. I hope every participant in the group. Make sure you use the proper microphone. There's a lot of uh, type of microphone in the market, right? 
uh, for example, the first is professional microphone, semi-professional and also the amateur. All right. I believe your short film is uh, using a lot of dialogues and also to capture sound effects, which is you can create your own uh, sound effect. So make sure that you can you use the proper mic to get the more crispy in terms of the dialogue and also the the sound effect you 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 created all right okay for example what we do we have in the microphone this is what we call the lavalier 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 mic is which is you you can uh, plug in the mic between the the body inside inside the shirts so that we can hide the mic all right Make sure you hide the mic. Uh, for the for the genre short film, you guys must uh, must hide the microphone between inside the shirt. Okay, all right. Or you can use the the collar. You can put in between there. All right. Make sure to hide the mic. Okay. On the right is uh, the the shotgun mic, which is the boom mic. Have you guys see the behind the scene? The guy boom operator use the boom, right? So this is what we call shotgun mic okay okay this one is smart uh, compact smartphone uh, microphone which is can you guys can plug here and capture all right you can plug from the, the bottom the, the mic uh, in front of the, the subject okay this are also the accessory of a mic which is you guys can attach the microphone on top the camera on top the camera all right this a wireless nowadays a uh, mgras model the latest model the best model uh, wireless mgras the road is too too expensive but a uh, road to, to be uh, to me my personal opinion is not good I'm, i i prefer the mgras for the uh, amateur and also the content creator digital content used to the wireless mic brand is mgras which is you guys you guys can purchase in the TikTok, TikTok shop or the Shopee. I think uh, it's, it's cost around 60 to 150 ringgit Malaysia. You guys can go to find it at the TikTok shop. Okay. This um, radio mic or uh, one of the professional uh, use to capture the dialogue. Okay. And then this is uh, a mixer from, from the radio mic to capture audio and then the audio transfer into the mixer all right which is we can record the real time the dialogue by using the mixer all right this is a boom mic uh the, the boom operator always to 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 capture the, the mic during the filming this is a boom mic okay this is a headphone i hope you guys use the headphone or earphone to to hear every single of the dialogue during the filming all right make sure you have you please bring during the filming all right okay next the basic editing uh just now dr shamila has uh have a mention you guys can use a uh apa? cap card also on but in the market in film industry there's a lot of software you, you guys can use for example final cut pro avi the quick uh, so on but to me i prefer using the cap card for the simple uh, the basic of editing for you guys to start start up how to edit the the video how to, to as a beginner to 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 doing the editing cap card right okay next what is editing okay the editing is a part of how you guys craft and cutting putting into the scene uh assemble the all the footage during the day one day two day three you are you guys filming all right to to assemble from the scene number one number two number three and number ten it's a depend how many of your scene all right this work is done by a film editor so make sure that your group members have the one film editor which is editor is a cutting all the shots cutting into the one scene all right to assemble all the footage all right footage means that every single of shot every single of video you you, you guys took all right 
filmmaker who helps complete the director's vision of the film. The creative choice of the editor are using combination, right, of the what they think the best for film and the what the director and the producer want to finish the project, All right? Okay, next. Before we start the editing, make sure that the continuity editing is a very important element. Okay, make sure they have a continuity editing. For example, Ali is walking from here to here. That's what we call the continuity from A to B. That's a continuity. All right. So make sure that you guys filming and also during the editing post production, make sure that the continuity, the storyline must be aligned. Continuity from A from to Z. Do not what we what we call from A to Z. Oh, oh sorry, from A to to E. E to A or this one must must be in order, right? For example, how what is a continuity editing? Right? Continuity editing is an editing system that we use to maintain consistency of the time and space in the film. Right? Continuity is editing can help uh, audience in reality from film while the established, okay establish the clear of the structure of the narrative all right the goal of continuity editing is to make make the mechanism of the filmmaking invisible as to help the audience dismiss and disbelieve more easily right for example man a and man b all right from from these two shots we can assemble the variety of style which one we want to put all right, for example, eh? assemble one. Okay. Sorry, eh? where's the video? Oh, my God. Sorry. So maybe uh, try to kill the man B, right? So this is assemble one. Next assemble two. That man shot, and then this guy firing the gun okay next this shot a shot b and shot c from this three shot we can assemble a lot of uh, story can can be portrayed uh, you guys see eh? please watch it assemble one So the girl uh, going out from the car and then the car is fired. December 2. That's an assemble number 2. Next, <laughs> assemble number 3. Right? That's assemble three. The last is assemble number four. <laughs> All right. Okay, that's a, what we call continuity editing. All right. Okay. Uh, just now I mentioned you guys can use the CapCut. It's a uh, it's a it's a free. All right. You can download and then into your laptop or you can use the, your smartphone absolutely it's a, it's a free and very powerful editing and jimat masa huh. right so cap cut okay what they have a cap cut in cap cut they have a lot of 
uh, transition editing for for example clip trim clip adjust the color transition chroma key music text and so on all right so by using this cap card you guys can can edit some like short film short drama documentary tutorial video video teaching and learning montage video television commercial tvc uh, public service announcement psa all right so there's a lot of uh, uh, video can you you can edit by using CapCut. For example, short film, video review, music video, cover song, we, uh, comedy, funny video, food video, educational video, unboxing video, vlog video, gaming video, and so on. So after this, you guys can can watch the most popular type of video in YouTube channel idea from this this year this this uh link you guys can get get some idea what kind of story into related uh the sdg system so just click this uh, link yeah all right this a cap card feature there's a lot of feature uh, the new all right next is about tips 10 step basic editing in cap card okay uh, during the you guys going going for filming make sure that uh every participant must took multiple texts why why we why this is very important for example short ali walking into into toilet all right please take at least three to five texts with a uh, with a, diff a different different action or sometimes director director uh do not satisfy in terms of uh, the way the actor actress are acting also on so you guys please take at least three to five takes all right number two uh before you guys start start editing make sure that you you all make backup footages all right this is very important because uh i have some uh, some experience uh my external at this was corrupt was was corrupt so that I don't have any backup footages. So, so make sure that uh, I hope you guys, after the filming, filming, make sure you use the backup extra extra footage apa, S -S -E, backup with the external hard disk, or you can use Google Drive to upload in in online. Okay, number three, edit spaces. Make sure that your phone, your phone or external hard disk laptop make sure that they have an extra space to put on your editing number four organizing your file if you guys filming short film they have a day one day two day three make sure that day one uh, day one hari pertama day one make sure after the going back home make sure that the editor must uh, what you call uh, save the, all the footage into one folder day one folder the next after filming day two folder the next the final day day three day three folder do not uh do not input into one 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 single folder please make sure that organize day one day two and also the day three okay number five watch your footage the reason why you must watch the footage because at least you guys you as an editor can get some idea oh this one shot number five is better the good take so you guys have some idea to 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 edit and how the story looks like okay number six beginning to edit for example using the fine cutting jump cutting wipe and dissolve and fade no worries after this, you guys can download the cap card and then try to explore what is a fine cutting, jump cutting, white, dissolve from, from this cup to another cup, the white dissolve or fake dissolve and so on. Okay. Number seven, watch over and over editing timeline project because this is very important. Sometimes the editor, editor too tired, right? Too tired to editing, but you have to get some extra time watch over to over because uh the reason at least you guys get some idea oh this is this, uh, this uh, number scene number seven scene number seven is not good enough 
I have to trim, trim to making shorten the story, also on. So that's why you must wash over and over. All right, building up your editing. After you, you guys doing the rough cut. Next is a face is online editing. Try to trim, trim and shorten your story, uh, the the video editing, so people. Uh, so that the audience not to bored watch your short film. The pacing, the time editing, pacing of the story must must be clear, must shorten so that the audience not to bored during the watch your short film, right? Next, working with the sound and mixing your sound. Okay, according to this one, you guys make sure that uh, use the free copyright music. How to get it? You, you guys can Google or from the YouTube type uh, uh, music background free copyright they have give some idea which one is not uh, which one is allowed you guys use the free copyright all right the last is you you guys number 10 doing the color correction all right you know what is the color correction you can touch out the, the color to get more more beautiful and sometimes the you short to highlight you can trim down using the tinted or the fake all right all right so after this i hope you guys try to download the cap card okay and then that's all for for today from me any question What is average amount of the short five minutes film? Okay, Benjo. Uh, good question. Uh, yeah. It's unlimited, Benjo. Right? Uh, it should depend what is your idea. Let's say, lah, Benjo, if you choose an action movie, eh, I believe during the five minutes, it's not enough 20 shots. Okay? Action movie, there's a lot of shots you have to do taking the shot because you want to create some element dramatic uh, element action just need to, a lot of shot to create people more tension especially for the audience right that's a that, that's an analogy eh? example eh? benjo benjo eh? you make your name to make me lapar lah but now karoti benjo burger benjo okay any question <laughs> Any question? Unfortunately, uh, we are running out of time. So right. I think we will end the Q&A session now. Okay. Thank you, Encik Azri. That is the end of the workshop under Encik Azri. But before that, Scholar Sri Putri would like to convey our gratitude to Dr. Shamila Mohamed Shahidan and Inche Azri Abu Hassan for their amazing input today. Thank you so much, Dr. Shamila and Inche Azri, for making your time to conduct this workshop for us. Scholar Sri Putri also would like to thank all of you who are joining and supporting this program. Before leaving, do remember to key in your attendance in the Google form provided. The link to the attendance form has been shared in the chat box, and you can also scan the QR code that is provided at the end of this session. With that, all the best for the competition, and don't forget to check on the submission date and the closing ceremony as well as the announcement of the winners. Take care and goodbye.